Okay, so I did a video yesterday on the Pi 400 and uh, I'm really pleased with it as a device, uh, but if you saw yesterday's video, you'll know that uh, the SD card slot on the back uh, keeps ejecting the SD card. Uh, so I have to rely on USB boot, but that's a good opportunity to do a video on USB boot. So I've got several SSD drives here. There's a couple in my cluster case I can use as well. Uh, I've got a USB stick in here at the moment that the operating system is running from, but I've also got a little USB SD card reader. So I can use that for systems that support USB boot. But not everything is exactly the same as the Pi 4. So things that worked on the Pi 4 don't necessarily work on the Pi 400. There will be some changes and uh, obviously over time different operating systems will adapt to be able to use that. Um, but already the support is pretty good. So I'm currently running PinOS uh, and it's, I've just booted into Twister. I think I've got two operating systems on this pin OS, um, but that's working absolutely fine. And Twister OS is my favorite OS on Raspberry Pi 4. I absolutely love it. Right, so shut down and I'll restart it and I'll just move in. So it's shut down now. Uh, if I unplug and replug in, we should get the green light come on. I have found that sometimes if I unplug and replug in, the green light doesn't come on. So what I have to do is unplug the USB-C adapter. And I don't find that with uh, the Pi 4. Uh, I, can, I can just unplug and plug in and pretty much it always boots. So obviously there's something slightly different there with the boot. So I've got my little mouse dongle in here, which I don't need. Uh, this mouse is amazing actually. Uh, if I press the button on the bottom, if I can locate it, there's a button here. Uh, you can see that it changes between colors. So blue, red, and green. So red is the dongle. So that is now working with the dongle. Uh, so you can see here. Uh, but I've got it paired to Windows 10 on my Mac with uh, Bluetooth 3.0 and Bluetooth 5.0 I've got paired to my iPad. So it is a really clever little mouse that can stay paired to multiple devices. You can see here I've got two operating systems on here. Now I'm not sure if this has got a desktop environment on it, so let's try and boot that. While that's booting up, so you can see here I've got uh, HDMI cable, the USB-C cable, that's my USB stick that it's running the OS from, and then we've got the dongle which I mentioned and a, uh, an Ethernet cable. Oh look, so this is interesting. So it's not booting uh, that Rasbex uh, operating system. That's really interesting. So even though it's in pin OS and it's on USB boot, it's not working. So let's quit that. And I've switched over to screen capture. Uh, so that's it. I, I thought everything worked. If it was in pin OS, I just assumed that because it was changing the way it booted, that everything you could install with pin OS would work. That's interesting. So if I try Twister again, well, that is interesting. So it doesn't mean that because it works with pin OS, it's going to work with the Raspberry Pi 400. Uh, I just figured that because it was booting differently, it would probably get past any differences that there were. So uh, I probably need to go through more with pin OS. Uh, but I think what I'm going to do now is plug in various different SSD operating systems and see what happens there. So let's try the next one. Okay, so let's unplug the USB that I was booting pinOS from, which is this Arcanite USB stick. And uh, I'm gonna use a USB to SATA cable. This is a USB 3 to SATA cable, so I need to make sure I plug it into the USB 3 socket. And uh, I've got a couple of drives in my cluster case. Uh, this is my main uh, setup. So this is Twister OS and also Flame Monk Ubuntu. So let's plug in Flame Monk Ubuntu first and switch that on. Obviously it looks a bit weird because it's in the cluster case, but it's just a pain to be able to have to take it out from there. So this starts up a little bit different to most operating systems. And Munka basically takes main operating systems and puts a lot of games, apps, and customization into it, and he does some great builds. I've got loads of uh, videos of Munka's builds on my channel. So you can see all working, all up and running. You can see the excellent Pi apps on, this, on the screen there. Uh, and if we go to games, there's all sorts of things in there, all sorts of emulation and things like that. But this isn't about that. You can look at uh, reviews on all the operating systems I'm covering. I've, I've covered separately on my channel. So let's shut that down. And uh, I'm going to switch the 
SATA cable to the other drive. So that's shut down. Let's plug that in. Unplug the USB-C and plug it in again. Just so you can see that our setup looks like. And this is booting Twister OS. We've seen Twister OS with PIN uh, just now. It is my main operating system. And uh, I was just I just thought I'd go through all the drives. There you go. So that boots up lovely and quick. So what I'm going to do with the rest of them, because you know what I'm doing now, I'm basically plugging in different drives. So the Yukon drive, I've got a Sumbo drive. I'm just uh, going to try each operating system in turn and uh, I'll do it on screen capture because it just looks a lot better. So RetroPie 4.7 works absolutely fine from my Yukon SSD. So let's shut that down. So as you can see, Ubuntu Mate 20.10 works absolutely fine and uh, works nice and fast, nice and snappy on this. So let's shut that down. Okay, so this is what Windows 10 does. Uh, now, I've tried various different versions of Windows 10 to be able to boot, uh, and I've got a whole playlist of Windows 10 running on Raspberry Pi 4. Uh, I just get this green dot in the screen and, uh, and nothing else. And I've tried some older versions. I've tried some different UEFI boots. Uh, it really doesn't like Windows 10, so that's a shame. Okay, so that's all my SSD drives and also a USB stick. Uh, I've got my integral USB SD card adapter, so I can put a card in there. So NetAC 3 is one of the ones I wanted to try. Pop that in, pop that into the USB 3 socket, and let's try and boot up. Okay, so this is Monkajaro version 1.1, and this doesn't boot, but that could be down to the 14 USB boot files. Uh, so some of these uh, systems can be adapted to USB boot, and I need to look at that separately. But yeah, Monkajaro 1.1 doesn't boot straight off, uh, but as I say, I can probably change 14 boot files and make that work. Same thing with Dospian. I've got Windows 95 running through Dospian on this, but again, uh, it needs to boot from SD card, but it may work if I change those 14 boot files. So let's try something else. Okay, so now I'm booting off my M.2 drive, uh, and this is Ubuntu. So Ubuntu works perfectly well from this. Uh, so when I look at my list, so Dosbin didn't work. Uh, I didn't get any of the Android versions to work, although there are ways to change them to USB boot. I know on Omni Android there was a way of changing it to USB boot, so I might try that again uh, in a separate video. Constacang's versions didn't work on USB boot. Um, various different things weren't working. So I've got to keep trying, but uh, it doesn't run everything exactly the same as the Pi 4, but this is early days and uh, obviously things will change as time goes on. And as people realize that certain things don't work, they'll change the necessary boot files or whatever that makes it work with the Pi 400. Okay, just a little bit to add in. Uh, I tried Omni again and uh, it did work fine with my integral USB SD card adapter. I had to change the file in config.txt and it's shown in this video if you want to work out how to do it. Anyway, I hope you like this. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.